Well, 65 years ago today, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, destroying the city. It was an action that eventually led to the end of World War II. And as Robert Marzano reports, it was a decision that still lives in the memories of people who experienced that period of history. It is still considered the most controversial ending in the history of modern warfare. 65 years ago today, the crew of the Enola Gay dropped an atomic bomb on the island of Hiroshima, killing an estimated 140,000 people. A veteran from Comac, who was just 15 years old at the time, remembers reading and hearing about it as word of the destruction and the impact had on the men who were fighting overseas reached the United States. I thought the president did a good thing. Uh, he, uh, uh, he saved, certainly he saved many American lives. Uh, unfortunately, there were a lot of Japanese military and civilians that lost their lives in that. The carnage continued when the island of Nagasaki was decimated by another atomic bomb three days later. All in all, 210,000 people were killed. Images from the devastation can make a person reflect on the enormity of an event that historians say shook the world to its core. The destruction was very massive. Now, if you look at that, then you, you know, a tear comes in your eye. There's no question about that. Now, decades later, one Long Islander questions how much we really know about the bombing. I don't know if all sides of the, of that awful tragedy is, is taught. I think it's more taught from the American perspective. However, Arnez says that at the time in history, the A-bomb was necessary. Don't forget, uh, they are a very, very good deterrent for war. And, and certainly war is, war is not fun. Arnez says that on every anniversary, we should take the time to reflect on these events to make sure that history does not repeat itself. In Comac, Robert Marzano, LI News Tonight. Thank you.